When we look at the vast, endless oceans, it's easy to think of them as untouched wilderness. But beneath the surface, there's a world most of us never see, one that humans have transformed with incredible infrastructure projects. These projects are often hidden deep under the water, serving purposes ranging from communication and energy production to transportation and scientific research. Today, we'll dive deep into the world of hidden infrastructure projects under the ocean. The backbone of the internet, submarine cables. Let's start with something you use every day but probably never think about, submarine internet cables. These cables form the backbone of the internet, carrying 99% of all international data. Every time you send an email, watch a video, or join a video call, there's a good chance your data is traveling through a cable lying on the seafloor. The first submarine cable was laid in 1858 to connect Ireland and Newfoundland for telegraph communication. Today, there are over 400 submarine cables stretching more than 1.3 million kilometers. That's enough to circle the Earth 32 times. These cables are usually about the thickness of a garden hose and are made to withstand enormous underwater pressures. They are protected by multiple layers, including steel armor and waterproof material. However, they aren't invincible. Fishing trawlers, anchors, and even curious sharks have damaged these cables over the years, causing temporary internet outages in some regions. One of the largest recent projects is the Two Africa Cable. Spanning over 45,000 kilometers, it's set to connect 33 countries across Africa, Europe, and Asia. Once completed, it will be the longest undersea cable system in the world, designed to meet the growing demand for internet access. Tidal and wave power. The ocean isn't just a vast expanse of water, it's also a source of immense, untapped energy. Hidden beneath the waves are tidal and wave power projects that aim to harness the natural motion of the sea to generate electricity. Tidal energy projects use the predictable rise and fall of the tides. One of the most well-known examples is the Maygen project in Scotland, located in the Pentland Firth. It uses underwater turbines that look like wind turbines but are designed to operate in powerful tidal currents. Each turbine can generate enough electricity to power thousands of homes. Wave energy, on the other hand, uses the motion of surface waves. A unique project in Portugal, called the Agicadura Wave Farm, was the world's first commercial wave energy farm. It used floating devices to capture the energy from waves and convert it into electricity. Although the project faced challenges, it paved the way for future wave energy innovations. These technologies are still in their early stages, but the potential is enormous. Oceans cover more than 70% of the Earth's surface, and projects like these could play a key role in providing clean energy in the future. Underwater habitats, living beneath the sea. Another hidden infrastructure development is underwater habitats. These are pressurized structures that allow humans to live and work underwater for extended periods. They've been used primarily for scientific research and deep-sea exploration. One of the earliest examples was the Conshelf series, developed by Jacques Cousteau in the 1960s. Conshelf 2, located off the coast of France, housed a team of divers who lived underwater for 30 days. Inside the habitat, they carried out scientific experiments, including studying marine life and testing the limits of human endurance. Today, the only operational underwater habitat is the Aquarius Reef Base, located 19 meters below the surface in the Florida Keys. Scientists use it to study coral reefs, monitor fish populations, and train astronauts for space missions. Living underwater allows researchers to stay close to their work without needing to surface repeatedly, saving time and effort. While underwater habitats are still rare, they represent a fascinating intersection of engineering and science. They also give us a glimpse of what future underwater living might look like. Undersea Tunnels Underwater tunnels are some of the most impressive engineering feats ever accomplished. These tunnels allow cars, trains, and even pipelines to pass beneath the ocean, connecting cities and countries that would otherwise be separated by vast stretches of water. One of the most famous examples is the Channel Tunnel, or Channel, which connects the United Kingdom and France. 
Opened in 1994, it stretches 50 kilometers, with 38 kilometers running under the seabed of the English Channel. It's one of the longest underwater tunnels in the world and took over six years to build. In Japan, the Saiken Tunnel runs 23 kilometers under the Tsugaru Strait, connecting the islands of Honshu and Hokkaido. Completed in 1988, it's the world's longest undersea railway tunnel. China is currently working on the Dalian Yantai Undersea Tunnel, which will span 123 kilometers. If completed, it will surpass all existing tunnels in both length and complexity. The project involves drilling through challenging geological conditions, including areas with active seismic activity. Building these tunnels requires advanced technology, such as tunnel boring machines that can cut through rock and soil while withstanding immense water pressure. Each project also demands precise planning to ensure safety and durability. Offshore Drilling and Mining Not all underwater projects are designed to benefit the public directly. Many are built to extract valuable resources from beneath the ocean floor. Offshore drilling platforms, like the massive rigs in the Gulf of Mexico or the North Sea, are used to extract oil and natural gas. These platforms are engineering marvels, often standing on legs that extend hundreds of meters to the seabed. The largest platform, Troll A in Norway, is over 470 meters tall, taller than the Empire State Building. Deep sea mining is another controversial but growing industry. Companies are exploring ways to extract rare metals like cobalt, nickel, and manganese from the seabed. These materials are essential for technologies like electric car batteries and smartphones. One notable project is the Solwara 1 site in the Pacific Ocean, where machines are being tested to mine metal-rich nodules from the seafloor. However, both offshore drilling and deep-sea mining come with risks. The harsh underwater environment makes these operations challenging and expensive, and there's ongoing debate about their environmental impact. The ocean hides a world of human ingenuity, cables that carry our data, turbines that generate power, tunnels that connect nations, and habitats that bring us closer to understanding the deep. These projects are a testament to what humanity can achieve when faced with the challenges of the underwater world. But while these feats are impressive, they also remind us of the delicate balance between using the ocean's resources and protecting its ecosystems. The hidden infrastructure under the ocean isn't just about engineering, it's a reflection of our relationship with the planet's most mysterious realm.